ventures and welding. As you can see from the decorations, it's that time of the year, so let me wish you a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Now let's talk about blueprints and welding symbols. All right, guys, today we are talking about probably the most second, most common weld you're going to encounter out in the field. That would be the groove weld. Bonus points if you can remember what I told you the most common weld you're ever going to encounter is. Put it in the comments below and I'll send you one of my new uh, adventures in welding stickers when they come in. Anyway, we're talking about groove welds. So, we're going to do welding symbol and then the actual thing. So here is our first one. This is, <laughs> this is pretty simple. Hope you can all get this one. This is the V groove, and the symbol that you're going to see for the V groove is simply a V. See how it looks like a V? V. Can't get much easier than that. All right, next up is this form of joint. We have a straight side, we have a beveled side. This is the bevel joint. And the symbol for that is the same as the shape of the joint. The straight side and the bevel side. And whatever direction the bevel is on, like for instance, if your welding symbol looked like this, you would be actually putting that on this side of the weld but the bevel would still be in the same place. All right, next up is this type of joint. We have two members that are parallel to each other, perpendicular. One might even say they were square. This is the square joint and the symbol for the square joint. is that again pretty simple all right now our joints are going to get just a little bit more complicated but you're going to notice that the symbols are still going to look remarkably like the joints themselves making it easy for dumb welders like us to figure out what the hell we're supposed to do so what we have here is this member and this member and you can see they have a radius cut out of each of them but the radius does not go all the way through between a half and two-thirds and this looks like the letter U so this is in fact a U groove joint and the symbol looks just like that all right, pop quiz. What does that look like? We have a straight member, and then we have what looks like half of the U joint that we just talked about. We have that little radius there between the half. You know, if we develop this into thirds here. Actually, that'd be fourths, wouldn't it? It's 8.30 in the morning. Don't knock my math. This would be, what's it look like, the letter J, a J joint, a J groove joint. And the symbol for that is that. I mean, look, that looks like that. It's a J groove joint. 
All right, now we have two members that have been bent at an almost 90 degree angle. But if you look closely here, what we have here is a sort of a V shape. This is the flare V groove and its symbol looks like this. See? Matches the members. All right, this one is a weird looking joint. We have a vertical member here, or it could be horizontal. You could you could turn it like this. It really doesn't matter. And then we have the other member bent just like we did in the flare B, V groove. Now, if we hearken back to an earlier joint I showed you, do you remember what this was? This was the bevel joint, and the symbol for the bevel joint was the straight line and the curved line. Well, this is the flare bevel and the symbol for it is the curve and the straight. See, there's that which matches that and that which matches that. Just like the plain straight bevel, straight line, straight line, angle, angle, everything goes together. All right, <clears throat> if you're a woodworker, you already know what this one's called. Any guesses? This is a scarf joint. Basically, what, you, what you're doing is you're simply joining two smaller pieces to make a larger piece. And this is generally only used with brazed joints. It's generally not used with welded joints, but the symbol looks just like that all right take a look at this joint and take a look at this symbol what do we have here we have the straight line angle line that's a bevel joint again down here we have the straight line angle line again that is the bevel joint which means this piece here has probably been beveled like that. But if you notice right next to it, it says 4 6 on both sides. So, what are we talking about here? We're talking about an intermittent weld on both sides of the joint. So, if we look at this, here is this piece and then yeah this is coming up vertically from here and what they're telling us is four intermittent welds and looks like some dum dum only put three in because like I said it's early in the morning and they are to be on six inch centers. So if you drew a line through the center of each one of those and you measured that, that would be six inches, six inches. You get the idea, right? Okay, a little correction from our last one let me bring that back here. I said there were supposed to be four. This is the length. The length of this weld. Four inches, six inch center. Okay, so now if we look at our symbol here, we have the, almost the same thing, except you'll notice that these are not directly on top of each other. In our other joint, what we had was this, 
notice how they're directly on top of each other in this one they are offset they are staggered so what we have now is a staggered I can't spell worth a crap a staggered intermittent weld so while we still have our four inch welds with our six inch centers we are staggering them and the reason that's done is to just reduce heat input and distortion into the pieces so that's it for this episode on some basic groove type blueprint reading nothing special there just a little something to help you young guys out I know how much I enjoy blueprint reading class in weld school happy holidays to you guys get the hell out of my kitchen <laughs>